Hi everyone! Up until now we have only been exporting NIFs from Outfit Studio and not saving projects. But that's about to change as we move into the next phase of this series. We will begin saving some projects in Outfit Studio, so I figured we'd better talk about where those files are going and how we can set things up to have more control over that. By default, saved projects will go to the SSE data folder if you use Vortex and to the Overwrite folder if you use MO2, although we'll talk more about that in a minute. Let's first have a look at how you can change the path within Outfit Studio. You can open the Settings menu here in Outfit Studio by going to File and then Settings. And note that this menu is exactly the same one for both Body Slide and Outfit Studio. So any changes you make here in Outfit Studio will also be made to the Body Slide settings. Click the little arrow next to Advanced Settings to expand this pane. And here you'll see a box to change the Body Slide output path, and another box to change the Project path. You can ignore the output path for now, or set this as per my Body Slide installation video which is linked here and in the description. Please don't copy what I am showing you here as it will probably be wrong for your setup. So if you want to know more about that Body Slide output box, please watch the Body Slide install video. Okay, the project path is what we care about right now, and this path serves two purposes. And this is very important to remember. The path you enter here is where projects will be saved, but it's also where Outfit Studio and Body Slide are going to look for projects when you try to load them. By default, this is blank, and that means it will both save and load from wherever your Body Slide and Outfit Studio executables are located, which for us, that's the Body Slide Mod, Caliente Tools, Body Slide folder which is inside the Skyrim data folder, either the real one for Vortex or the virtual one for MO2. You can click on Browse and choose a different folder or make a new one, and this can be useful when you are making a new project so the files go into a specific location instead of getting mixed in with other project files. You can also browse to a project saved outside your mod manager if you want to load that up. However, you have to pay attention if you do this. Remember that it's going to put files and look for them in the same place as the Body Slide or Outfit Studio.exe files. So when it recreates the folder structure outside of the data folder, either real or virtual, it's going to make folders that look like this, not the entire Caliente Tools slash Body Slide folder structure that the main mod has. So if you want to put your project files into a mod, you have to add the missing folders and recreate the path correctly, like this, or else your mod will be broken. Furthermore, if you want to load up a project from outside your mod manager, you'll have to change the project path in settings to point to whatever folder contains the project's slider sets and shape data folders. This might be the main folder that you saved the file to, like this. Or it might be Caliente Tools slash Body Slide if your folder is set up like a real mod. Outfit Studio is very particular about this, so be sure the path in Settings points to wherever your slider sets and shape data folders are located, or else you will get an error like this when you try to load the project. If you move, delete, or change the name of the folder that you've indicated in the Settings menu, then you will get an error like this when you open Outfit Studio. Just click OK and go to the Settings again and either remove the path so that this line is blank, or browse and select the new location that you want to load your project from. A final very important point. Changing this settings path should only be done temporarily if you want to save files outside the data or overwrite folders, or if you want to load up a project from outside your mod manager. After you're done with that, remember to change the settings back so that this line is blank, or else it won't load up projects from your installed mods. If this happens, you'll get an empty body slide window and you won't see those projects listed in Outfit Studio, 
or you'll get an error when you try to load them. So that's how you can manage the project files directly through Outfit Studio or BodySlide. And don't forget that the settings you change in that window will apply to both applications. Please remember these key points so that you don't accidentally break things. If you want to load files from outside your Mod Manager, be sure to point the project path in Settings to wherever the slider sets and shape data folders are located. To put those into a mod, be sure they end up inside the Caliente Tools slash Body Slide folder. If you change the project path to save or load a project, be sure to change it back, meaning make sure it's blank again, when you are done. Now let's cover some specifics for each mod manager. If you use Vortex, all your mod files end up in the actual Skyrim data folder, and that includes all your Body Slide and Outfit Studio files as well. With that project path in the settings menu blank, Outfit Studio will save your projects and look for projects to load directly in the Caliente Tools slash Body Slide folder inside the data folder. This is fine, and you can just leave all the settings alone to continue with this default behavior. However, this is not really an ideal approach when you want to create a new mod with your project files. If you save them to the default location, then you'll have to parse through all the folders and files inside Caliente Tools slash Body Slide to find the ones you want. And it can be a little tricky to make sure you get all the ones you need, and only the ones you need, for your new mod. So for Vortex users, if you know you're going to be saving project files that you'd like to have in a separate mod folder, then your best bet is to temporarily change the project path in the settings menu. After you save the files, just set it back to a blank line as we've already discussed. And to pack up the new mod properly, be sure you recreate the correct folder structure, main mod, Caliente tools, body slide, and then your shape data and slider sets and any other folders that your project has. For MO2 users, the situation is a bit different because we have more options. First of all, the default save location is the overwrite folder, and projects you save will go into a Caliente Tools folder there. This is fine, but you'll want to remember to move those files out and put them into a real mod folder which you can do very easily by just dragging and dropping them from one folder to another. If you don't want the saved projects to go to Overwrite, then you can designate a different location in MO2's Executables menu. To do this, first make a new mod folder by clicking on Tools and selecting Create Empty Mod. Then type in a name, maybe something like Outfit Studio New Projects, and hit OK. Find that folder at the bottom of your list, activate it, and always leave it activated. Next, let's point Outfit Studio to this new folder. Click on the gears, then select Outfit Studio, and tick the box for Create Files in Mod instead of Overwrite. And then scroll through the list to select the folder that we just made. Click Apply, and then OK. And now, Whenever you save a new project, it should show up here in this folder, and it can easily be moved into its own new mod. The only exception to this is if you change the project path in the Settings menu. Whatever folder you designate there gets priority for saving or loading projects. So leave this blank if you want the files to go to your new mod folder, or Enter your preferred location in the Settings menu temporarily if you'd like to save the files there instead. All of this info about managing project files is important for creating outfit body slide projects, which we'll talk about later. But it's also important if you want to save size or body conversion files. You'll need to decide what you want to do with those files based on what I've covered in this video. The easiest approach, for Vortex users, is to just leave them in the data folder and don't worry about it. Since I use MO2, I'll be saving my projects to the new folder I created in this video, and then moving them into other mod folders as appropriate. I've already made myself a folder specifically for my custom conversion projects, like size conversion sliders 
and the body type conversion sliders that we will make next. Later on, I'll be making other folders for new body slide outfit projects. You don't have to set your mod manager up the way that I have, but I do recommend that you decide on an approach now and get that set up so that you are organized and ready to go. I know this was a boring subject, but it should be useful as you start getting into more advanced work in Outfit Studio. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again soon for our introduction to sliders. Bye!